I don't mean to excite anyone, but in the very description of this game, it says the more damage you do, the more gold you will make. So that's bad news for anything that I can hit. You could tell this depressed dandelion loves it by the look on its face. And we got one gold for killing that. I love games that reward me for killing things. Especially if I use my auto clicker, it'll be like a machine gun of death. And everything just gooifies. This is way too much fun already. Area complete, but I'm not done yet. There was a kitten in there. This looks like something I would create in Spore. Now that we're done murdering things, we're gonna hire Sid the Helpful Adventurer. And then we're also gonna level him up a few times simply because I can. 8 click damage. And it gives me a chest for killing things. Oh. Okay, well, it was a fake chest, but you get the idea. Still only making one gold per death, so we need to get more damage. How many things do you think we have to murder before Sig gets a good upgrade? Then again, I can also hire Tree Beast already because we made $50. So let's buy this. 5 DPS. So I don't even have to click anymore if I don't want to. Things will just automatically lose their life at 5 hit points per second. But I'm kind of tired of murdering these creatures, so let's try some new ones. Or at least a new level. And we get 2 gold here. Oh, that was quick. You don't have to kill very many creatures creatures to move on to the next levels. The creatures are a lot stronger at the forest level 3, but they're giving me 3 gold per death. 3 gold per murder, that's what I get in real life. And that area is very quickly complete because I can auto-click and gooify literally the entire world. Next, let's try Ivan the Drunken Brawler because he has 22 DPS. One surprised fighter, he now works for me for peanuts. Area 4. So what do you give me per death? Five, six golds? Yeah, something like that. Look at that thing. It looks so happy. I like this game because I just sit here and wait for things to die and then I get rewarded for it. And I already managed to break it somehow. Not sure what's going on with my auto clicker, but I'm a little concerned about it now. I'm like five minutes into the game and I've already managed to bone it up this bad. Anyways, one quick little restart later and I'm maybe going to go a little easier in the auto clicker for now until I figure out why the game doesn't love that. But I'm also going to upgrade Ivan so he's going to go from 22 to 44 damage per second, which basically means my income is that much faster. Then we're going to go to level 5 where we get a new creature that looks like a furry pumpkin. And if I click on him, it does 8 damage. If I auto click on him, it does like a billion damage. And I guess it gives me 30 seconds to kill him every time. Goodbye furry pumpkin, it's been an honor. And now we get to kill cactus things, and cats, and cactuses again. But look at all the money we're making. We're really making it through these levels very quick. I guess that's thanks to my DPS. These creatures do have 200 HP already, but I'm doing enough DPS that it only takes a few seconds to kill them and then they get the money. So I think it's probably worth saving up for Brittany the Beach Princess at this point, though it's gonna take a minute. And anytime I'm done an area like I am now, I'm gonna move on to the next area because there's just more money to be made, and I'm pretty sure it's worth it despite the fact they have more HP. It is definitely worth it because I get to kill this thing. Once this adorable little thing dies, we'll have the money we need for the Beach Princess. The next hero is 4,000, but the DPS 74 sounds good to me. Which brings us to Drylands level 9. But once we kill them, we're getting 9 gold per coin. Or somewhere in the range of 30, 35 gold per monster killed. Are we going to get a boss at level 10? Looks like we are, like they have an auto clicker, so... And I wish I was doing more than 8 damage for a base attack. And he's dead, and that looked like a pretty good reward to me. I think if I want more click damage, I need to upgrade Sid to Helpful Adventurer. Yes, because now I'm up to 10 click damage, which actually makes a bit of a difference, so I'm going to spend a bit of money upgrading him. Plus, big clicks. Increase damage by 100%. Yep, let's do it. His name really doesn't lie. Now that I spent all that money, we're doing 60 damage per click, which is much quicker than the 8 we were doing before. So if I use my auto clicker again, the game once again doesn't love it, but I make money very quickly. Level 11, it turns into the night, and all we gotta do is kill 10 creatures here before we're onto the new area. And this extra damage is certainly helping me out. The coins dropped on the ground are worth about 20 gold each, 27 gold each, so we're making 75 per monster. And we can also unlock the Wandering Fisherman, who's gonna give us 245 DPS. So that's going to drain your health pretty quickly. And then at level 12, we're getting 42 gold per coin. So the numbers are going up very quickly now. It's actually giving us a click storm ability. It's only 250, so we'll take it. So I mean, I can just go like that and it's going to auto click for me. Not that I really need that. But let's also add some auto, some clicker damage while we're at it. 75 per click. Well, the in-game auto clicker was fun while it lasted. What do you give me now when you die? 49, about 200 gold per kill. I really love a game that gives you more damage for more money, and then more money for more damage. It's a never-ending cycle of death. All we need for the next hero is $20,000. That's not actually going to take that long, considering they're now giving us like 400 per kill. Level 15 gives us King Copernicus, who really likes my auto clicker. There we go. Not sure how much he actually gave me, and we start it again, because I don't know how to turn my auto clicker off anymore. There it goes. I think it's because my auto clicker works faster than you can physically click, so it has to catch up once it's done. And 
I get it. You need to kill him before the timer runs out, otherwise you don't get paid. And then once he's dead, we're going to slowly collect all the coins while the auto clicker fixes itself. Almost 5,000 per kill. That's not bad. So I'm going to see if I can manually kill him dead in the next 10 seconds, and I don't actually think I can. We're just going to skip to the next level and make a little bit of money here killing this guy. But they're also giving me 750 gold per kill. So we can already hire her for 20,000. She's doing almost a thousand DPS. So I do need to remember to go back and upgrade some of these other heroes because they get special skills too once they hit things like level 10. So say we get him here, we do that, and it's going to give us some extra boosts. And the Wandering Fisherman can be upgraded fairly cheaply, and that's going to give us an extra 200 DPS, which actually makes a pretty big difference still. But it's going to be hard to keep up because the creatures now have almost 10,000 HP each. They still die fairly quickly because I'm doing almost 2,000 DPS per second, but you get the point. They're also giving us 1,200 gold per death. On level 18, the creatures are giving us about $2,000 per kill. So that's going to help the upgrades. I can already upgrade her again, which puts our DPS at extra 1,000 up to 2,800. So I'm going to upgrade the Wandering Fisherman again because that's going to add a few hundred DPS by itself and it's pretty reasonably priced. And you know what? I think I'm going to need more click damage after I find out what level 19 creatures give me. So we're looking at about $3,000 per death. So if we hold shift, we can buy 10 levels and then another 10 then we can buy this which is going to give me click damage plus 100 percent 226 click damage that's going to make a big difference well i want to build up here on level 19 to make the boss at level 20 look really stupidly weak what i'm going to do is shift click this again so now we're up to 265 click damage then shift click again for another twenty-two thousand dollars, and then if i get 8,000 gold i can double my damage again just by clicking on this 605 click damage much better and then another level for betty clicker which puts my dps up to 4000 i just officially passed 10,000 clicks so we're gonna upgrade her one more time for an extra thousand so 5000 dps then we're gonna use this auto clicker i mean things are dying pretty fast but i feel like we could be doing faster so let's buy her another upgrade and now things really only take a few seconds to die without me touching them so just a few more upgrades and we'll be good to go and another 1000 which brings her to level 10 which means i can buy this for 200 100,000, which actually increases the DPS of all heroes by 20%. But before buying that, we're going to drop 100 grand on the Masked Samurai, who's going to add another 3,725, so an extra 40% DPS. So now things are going to die extra, extra, extra fast. Then while we're at it, I'm going to buy 10 levels for the Wandering Fishermen for their upgrade. Only costs 40,000, but there's extra DPS, so we're up to 20,000 DPS now. And I don't really have to click on these idiots right now. They die within about a second, but we can still do better. And you know what else we need? $400,000 Leon. That's going to put our dps way up to 37,000. so now the creatures definitely die in maybe half a second then i've been upgrading to wandering fisherman because he seems like a reasonably priced upgrade once he hits 25 we're gonna double his damage which does seem a little unnecessary at this point considering the creatures are melting pretty much as fast as they spawn but let's see what this does for us going from 44,000 dps up to 59,000 dps that was actually a really really big jump it's basically just raining money now if we get betty clicker up to 25 we can boost all dps by another 20% so let's try and do that that might get really expensive but we're gonna try it decided to save up just a little bit of money so hopefully we'll get the next seven levels out of her and then able to afford this so my dps is now at 77,000 up to 91,000 plus then when I upgrade him we're up to 107,000 damage per second this is much quicker than what we were at before and now that we are over 100,000 let's try the boss desert level 10 well he's not dying as quick as I would have liked but we're definitely within that 30 second time frame and he's getting me uh $50,000 per kill so I'm gonna sit here and save up for a little bit and as quick as we're killing her it's not quick enough because my money's not going up quick enough luckily I can upgrade my samurai 10 whole levels and that's gonna bring my dps up to 160 and I decided to try the next area which has new adorable monsters to murder and I'm not sure if I'm making money faster or not but things are dying quicker so at least it's fun. 22 makes a little more money again with things still dying basically instantly though they are slowing down just a little bit. Level 24 and we're making quite a bit of money again I think it's something like 40,000 every monster that dies and we're gonna double his damage we're gonna go from 161 dps up to 220,000 dps so I maybe save up a little bit of money with these guys. I went back to her because I think this is actually giving me the most money whatever the case i can go like this now buy 25 more levels for her and then add this for an extra 20 percent dps so we're now up to 300,000 dps which means she's dying in just over a second which means 50,000 gold per second and using all that profit we're gonna hire the great forest to see her who is going to take our dps from 306,000 to 387,000 so let's test all this new damage out on level 25 where we have a bigger crab who has 3 million health 
but I think we're gonna take him down by the time the timer runs out. We used up about 10 of the 30 seconds. And how much money does he give us? I think about 600,000. Mm, might be closer to 500,000. Anyways, a lot of money. So I'm gonna sit here and let him die for a while while I pile up like 400 billion dollars. While we're waiting for our funds to build up, we have 10 million dollars right now. I'm gonna buy another 10 levels for Leon, then double his damage output. And that brings us up to 800,000 DPS, getting pretty close to a million. And after murdering this stupid crab 4,000 times, we're able to hire Alexa. So our DPS goes from 800,000 to 1,123,000. So we can move on to level 26 where things are basically just evaporating because our damage is high enough and we killed a ninja turtle while we were at it and we're making money pretty quickly here not as quick as with the boss but we're still making quite a bit if these guys are giving us about two hundred thousand dollars per death so that's gonna add up pretty quickly but not as quickly as the next level they also have several million health so they're not dying as quick as i would like them to hopefully level 29 here really pays out three coins 115 about three hundred fifty thousand dollars per death and since our masked samurai currently is 12.6 percent of our total dps we're gonna give another 10 levels and then maybe another five on top of that that way you can double his damage then we go up to 1.6 million dps and then we're gonna do the same thing with leon 10 plus another three for 25 then this for 10 million dollars 3 million DPS. And then while we're at it, we're just going to level up Alexa because that's going to give us an extra 300,000 DPS, which is plenty. Next, we're going to take the Great Forest Seer, who's only level 1 right now, go up to level 10, and then double his damage on top of that. So we're up to 5 million DPS now. He now makes up 35% of my total DPS. And then before moving on to level 30, we're going to give the clicker another 25 levels and then add this for an extra 20 percent dps to everyone which brings us up to 6.1 million damage per second and since i'm making money so stupidly fast i might as well keep upgrading so we're gonna upgrade this uh three times so now we're up to 7.3 million dps which is very very satisfying anyways let's try the boss in level 30 which happens to be a tentacle but it's also dying very quickly octo tentacle but there's only one of them this thing is giving me like five million dollars per death so this is going to be a money maker in a big way the best part is it has like 40 million hp 30 million HP. We're just killing it that quick because we're doing quite a bit of damage. So with our 106 million gold, we're going to hire Natalia. She gives us 9 million DPS. As much as I'm enjoying playing with this tentacle, we're going to give Alexa the Assassin another 5 levels. That way she can hit level 10. At which point I can also spend 150 million dollars to increase my critical chance by 3%. I feel like that probably refers more to the clicking aspect of things. What do you think would happen if we spend 150 million dollars on my clicking power? We're gonna try. That's kind of a weird sound. Okay, so we're at 3,200 click damage, but we can double it with this, we can double it with this, and then we can double it with this for 4 million, so now we're doing 85,000 click damage, which really still isn't very much considering we're doing 10 million per second. You think he gets like a special bonus at level 200 though? He doesn't. I did, however, see a critical hit pop up. 870,000. So it does 10 times damage every 33 hits. Moving on to level 31, where unsurprisingly, we're murdering everything in a really big hurry. Level 34, and I think we're making about $3 million per kill. And we've collectively earned a billion gold but i think for my next upgrade i want to be lazy and simply upgrade her but that's still gonna give me 12 and a half million dps so that was a pretty big boost level 35 should have some kind of mini boss it's just a piece of wood we have 25 more seconds to kill him i'm not sure if we can do it with just our dps we're gonna find out but i don't know if we're quick enough i was wrong we are definitely quick enough now depending on how much he gives me we might sit here and farm this for a while we're at about $100 million total. We're getting about $60 million every time he dies. So we're going to mine him for like 60 hours. But also while upgrading our damage all along the way, there's an extra 2 million DPS. The Forest Seer is still doing 15% of our DPS. So if I get him up to 25, then double his damage, that would be just great. And that takes us all the way up to 22 million DPS. And I just got a ruby for clicking on something. What would be really great if I could get her to level 10, then double her damage. But that's going to cost a billion gold by itself. I've also I just realized that Betty Clicker can also increase my click damage by 0.5% of my total DPS, which is considerable considering how high my DPS is. Is it going to be worth the investment? I don't know. It's also going to cost me, well, there it is. 212,000 click damage was not worth it. But on the bright side, spending hundreds of millions of dollars got me a character that adds 0.8% of my total DPS. But to be fair, all these boosts are worth it. So the first thing we're going to do is level her up another four times, which brings my DPS up to 33,000. And then we click on that and then buy this for $1 billion, which is going to double her DPS, which puts me up to 50 million damage per second. She alone constitutes 66% of my total DPS. And finally, before moving on to level 36, we're going to buy Mercedes for 800 million. 
which is going to bring our DPS up to 57 million. And here is level 36. The creatures understandably are dying pretty much instantly. Level 37 is basically the same. They're surviving for just a little longer, but not very long at all. On level 38, they're giving me 25 million dollars every time they die, and they're doing that every two seconds. At least until I spent 855 million dollars on this upgrade, which is going to add considerably more DPS. 65 million damage per second. Things are definitely getting harder fast. Level 39, things are lasting a lot longer than they should be considering my damage. But we are also getting almost 40 million per kill, so that's adding up fast. So what would we go back and upgrade Alexa all the way up to 25 and then use this to get her DPS up higher, which brings us up to 82 million DPS. Then Mercedes is going up to level 3 because she's expensive, but that's gonna bring me up even higher to 90 million DPS. And then we're gonna see what the boss thinks that on level 40. We have 30 seconds to kill them, and I think we're gonna do it, but it's gonna be tight. What kind of idiot only has one eyeball? We're gonna be very close to our pace. If not, one slight upgrade will get us there. Or I can start clicking, but I'm probably gonna be lazy and not do that. Gonna come down to the wire, 5 seconds left, and... Got him! Just barely, but that gave me a ton of money by itself. There's 1.5 billion, which we can spend on Mercedes again. That's going to speed up the process to kill him, which means more profit. Eleven and a half billion dollars later, we're going to unlock Bobby the Bounty Hunter because he's going to add 35 million damage per second. And to upgrade him even one level from here costs 65 billion. So now that we hit level 41, things are still not dying nearly as quickly as I thought, so the progress is slowing down. But we're making lots of money. So for a nice cheap but effective upgrade, I'm getting her another 15 levels. Then I can double her power here, which puts her up to 263 million DPS. She now makes up 61% of my total damage per second, which definitely speeds up the explodey boron process. So just imagine what's going to happen next time.